So we have a generation three Prius and we're getting the uh, map airflow sensor warning uh, engine code. So the engine light comes on. We're gonna be fixing that today. It's pretty easy, it just takes you a couple of minutes. Just need a Phillips head screwdriver and this is a mass airflow sensor cleaner. You can get that like at um, AutoZone or any of the auto parts places. And to do it on this th uh, third generation, you just undo these clips to get to the air filter. And then there's a couple of things here. You just want to lift up here and then pull towards you. These clips will let go. And then there's the air filter and you can just pull it out. So with the air filter, you can replace it. They're pretty cheap. Also, um, sometimes they're just a little dusty. And if you hit your air cleaner against something, kind of like when you clean a filter for a vacuum cleaner, it'll knock all the dust out. Switch over to the other side too. Do the same thing. That takes care of that. And then you want to get to the air, the map airflow sensor, it's this device here. Just want to do this one Phillips head screw, or you can, I think it's a, maybe a, a bit bigger than a quarter inch bolt. You have to undo that. And then you can get this clamp off and then you can get to the sensor. So we're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver in this case to just loosen that up. Pull this off of the plastic, this rubber boot. Pulling that off. And there is our airflow sensor. We're going to just spray some cleaner in there. And that should correct that problem. It's mainly just dust builds up on there. So we're using this stuff. Operates really fast. Let's set for a sec, and then we'll do one more application. Now we'll get rid of that air, and that's just something that'll build up over time. And it's due to uh, that sensor just getting a lot of dust on it, or maybe it could be just a dirty air cleaner, too. We'll hit it one more time. So next thing we'll do, just put it back together, put this rubber boot back onto that, put the air cleaner back You'll on. notice when you put this boot back on, there's a notch in it that corresponds to a plastic piece here. So you want to line those up all lined up, and now we're going to tighten that screw. Okay, we just slid the air filter back in, and we'll line up these plastic pieces here at the top, push those in, set the plastic cover back down, and we're going to pull up these metal clips, clip that one, clip that one, and you're done. Might have to reset your engine code, but that should like be to it. announce our new channel membership. By joining, you're going to get some really good perks. Number one, you're going to get live help whenever you need it on your appliance problems, either by text, email, FaceTime, Zoom, whatever you want to get your appliance problem resolved. I'll be able to get you any kind of parts diagrams that you need. I'll get you really good deals on parts. I'll send links to you so you can order them and get them probably by the next day to fix your appliance. And all this is only for $4.99. And that'll save you quite a bit of money. And the whole goal of becoming a member with me is that it's gonna give you a chance to save a lot of money on the types of appliance repairs that we all run into on a yearly basis. So thanks so much. And please click on the link in the description below. And that's gonna allow you to join our channel today and start working on resolving your appliance problem. So thanks again.